Connecting to and configuring RackLink devices is quick, easy, and intuitive. Each device ships out of the box configured to use DHCP, which will automatically assign the correct network settings to the device in question. If there is no DHCP server on site, the device will revert to its default IP address, meaning that in either case, you can quickly and easily access the device. In order to access the device, you need to know the IP address that has been allocated. And for that, we provide a very easy tool called the RackLink Discovery Utility. The RackLink Discovery Utility goes out onto the network and identifies any RackLink device that's been installed on the same subnet. Through the intuitive and navigable interface, you can easily select the device that you wish to um, configure, click open, make the necessary changes, and save. So let's have a look to see what that means in practice. So let's look at the RackLink device discovery utility in action. Having installed the application onto a Windows PC, you simply click on the icon. The device discovery app opens up and goes out and identifies any RackLink device on the same subnet. It populates them in a list. Here you see the device description, the IP address that's been allocated if DHCP, the MAC address, and there are two other uh, control elements, device control and set IP address. If I click on the set IP address button, it pops up an authentication box that requires me to authenticate as an admin level user. Having authenticated, I can either enable or disable DHCP, and I can make any necessary changes to the IP address settings, subnet mask, gateway, or DNS server, save, and I'm back to uh, the setup page. To access that device, or any device, I simply click on device control, or I simply double click the device name. Double clicking opens up a Windows browser. I'm required to authenticate again. I click OK, and I'm taken to the home page of the RackLink local graphical user interface.